my viewers, welcome to this month's support group. I'm here with our dietitian, Sheila Bo, and since Easter is right around the corner, we are going to talk about chocolate. So Sheila, true or false? White chocolate is considered chocolate. False. White chocolate is not technically a chocolate as it contains no cocoa solid or no cocoa liquor. Dark chocolate is produced by adding cocoa butter to sugar and cocoa powder. Unlike milk chocolate, dark chocolate does not contain any milk solids. So white chocolate contains only cocoa butter, sugar, and milk solids. So technically, white chocolate is not really chocolate at all. Interesting. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, chocolate can sicken and even kill dogs and cats. True or false? Very true. In large amounts, chocolate and cocoa products can kill your dog or cats. The toxic component of chocolate is theobromine. Humans easily metabolize the theobromine, but dogs and cats process it much more slowly, allowing it to build up to toxic level in their system. Okay, um, dark chocolate is bad for your teeth. True or false? It is false. It is not dark chocolate that's bad for your teeth, but it is milk chocolate that's bad for your teeth. There's a difference between dark chocolate and milk chocolate. Dark chocolate is the better choice in keeping your teeth healthy and cavity free because it contains polyphenols and these chemicals help with the overgrowth of bacteria and other organisms in your mouth. And they can neutralize organisms that cause bad breath and can prevent some sugars from turning into acid. And dark chocolate also contains flavonoids. Flavonoids have been shown to slow tooth decay. And it also contains antioxidant. Antioxidant in your saliva has been shown to help fight gum disease. So dark chocolate should be made of 70% or more of cocoa and only 30% powder milk and sugar. Okay, so milk chocolate then is bad for your teeth? That is true, definitely. Milk chocolate contains more sugar than the dark chocolate counterparts and much more than raw and unprocessed chocolate. So it consists of cocoa, uh, powdered milk, and sugar. So um, the higher sugar content actually does cause cavities and tooth decay. Okay, true or false, dark chocolate is very nutritious. It is true to some extent. The ingredients that are uh, that makes up of high cocoa uh, dark chocolate is fiber and it has some uh, minerals such as iron, magnesium, copper, manganese. But for a 100 gram of dark chocolate bar also comes with 600 calories. Therefore, you need to eat it in moderate amount. Don't overdo even if it's dark chocolate. Okay, so another question or statement, a powerful source of antioxidants, talking about dark chocolate, is that true or false? Yes, dark chocolate is a powerful uh, source of antioxidant. In fact, it is, it has more antioxidant compared to blueberries and acai berries. Okay, true or false, um, can dark chocolate reduce heart disease? True to some extent, uh, the components in dark chocolate appear to be highly protective against uh, oxidation of LDL. So in the long term, this causes much less cholesterol to lodge in the arteries, resulting in lower risk of heart disease. Okay, dark chocolate may protect your skin from the sun, true or false? True. The study shows that the flavonoids from the cocoa can improve blood flow to the skin and protect it from sun damage. Awesome, okay, lastly, can dark chocolate improve brain function? True. Cocoa or dark chocolate may improve brain function by increasing blood flow. And it also contains stimulants like caffeine and theobromine. But the bottom line of this uh, topic that we're bringing up today is, this doesn't mean that you should consume a lot of chocolate every day. It is still loaded with a lot of calories and easy to overeat. Maybe have a square or two after dinner and try to really savor them. If you want benefits of cocoa without calories in the chocolate, you can definitely uh, consider making hot cocoa without any cream or sugar. And choose the quality stuff. It has to have more than 70% of uh, cocoa or more. Perfect. And, and that's our topic about chocolate. Thank you so much, Sheila. You're welcome.